I'm sure the day you got your Moto Guzzi, you sat down and read the manual cover to cover before heading out to ride, right? No. Me neither. However, there are a lot of things in this book that explains the hows and whys of the bike's features, so I spent some time digging through the manual so you don't have to. And many of the subtleties of this bike's features may cause you some frustration, that is, until you know how they're supposed to work. In this video, we're going to answer some of those questions that you may have had in the past and may have in the future. For example, how do the self-canceling turn signals know when to turn off? How to reset the shift overspeed light so it doesn't flash every time you hit 5200 RPMs? How does the bike let you know that there's a burned out turn signal? And how do you increase or decrease your cruise control by a few miles per hour without using the throttle? And why you may have difficulty changing the riding mode while riding? Keep watching and we'll talk about these. Okay, the V85 has self-canceling signals, but exactly how does it know when to turn them on and off? According to the manual, if the bike is stopped, the speed's equal to zero, the signals will flash forever until you turn the bike off. If the bike is moving, the turn signals will automatically cancel or turn off when the, one of these two conditions is reached. Okay, number one, the amount of time. If 40 seconds go by, before you um, you turn them off, it will turn themselves off. And after covering a certain distance, so if you go 0.31 miles or 500 meters, they will automatically turn off. If the speed goes to zero during this interval, the time and distance will reset and the count will restart from zero. So in other words, if you turn, but you stop again before the 40 seconds or 500 meters and you start again that'll start the count again and the time again so if you switch the signals from one side to the other like if you go from left to right without stopping in the middle or canceling they will reset the counts and the mileage so you're doing about 80 miles an hour down the interstate and you need to pass a tractor and trailer and you twist on the throttle and about 83 miles an hour lights start flashing on your TFT you're nowhere near the red line, so why are they flashing? Well, the V85 has a shift overspeed light, and this light is based on the RPMs and lights up the relative warning lights, orange when it's getting close to the RPMs and red when it's exceeded the RPMs. From the factory, it's set to 5200. The manual says that after you get used to the bike, you can change that. So here's how you change it. Use your mode switch and cycle through until you find the menu. Go into vehicle by pushing the uh, mode switch in. That'll put you in vehicle. Once you're in vehicle, use the, the paddle to go down to the shift light section. Once you're there, use the mode button to navigate up and down to get the desired RPM that you want to set your light at. I set mine at about 58, 59. It's less annoying for going 80 something miles an hour but it keeps me from going 90 which I don't need to be doing okay how do you know if one of your lights is burned out how's the bike let you know well it has an indicator light arrows on the dash that tells you you know whether you're going right or left if those are flashing at a normal pace generally your bulbs are okay but if those are flashing really fast you need to check your bulbs Now the manual goes into a lot of detail about this, but let me try to sum it up in just a, a few uh, sentences here. First of all, to engage the cruise control, just push and hold the cruise button with the, in the left-hand grip. Uh, this cruise icon starts flashing on your dash. Then after reaching the desired speed, press the cruise control and release it. So just hit it real quick, dab it, and that'll, that'll lock in the speed. Now you can accelerate with the throttle uh, just twist the throttle like you normally would. When you uh, are done accelerating, you can roll back off the throttle and the bike will return to the cruise set that you had set previously. So if you want to increase or decrease the speed without twisting the throttle, 
the paddles uh, work by flicking them up one to go one mile an hour faster. So flicking it down one to go one mile an hour slower. So if you flick it up, you go a mile an hour faster. If you flick it up two or three times, sometimes it'll go up two or three miles an hour. You want to wait for it to settle. After you flick it, just wait and look at it. It'll sometimes go past where it's supposed to be and then settle back down on the one mile an hour. So if you want to disengage your cruise control, of course, there's several different ways you can do that. You can press the cruise control button for a couple of seconds, just hold it in, and that'll disengage cruise. So use the front or back brake. That's another way. You can use the clutch or change gears. That'll break the cruise. And turn off the key, of course. If the bike's not running, it's not going to be in cruise control. And cruise control will reset every time you turn off the bike. So you'll have to reset it again. There's three riding modes, off-road, street, and rain on the 2020, and I believe there's a sport mode on the 21s. It probably works very similar to this, but I don't know that for a fact. This is about the 2020. Um, I talk about what these different modes did in the review video, but basically off-road removes the ABS from the rear tire and uh, rain reduces the power and limits quick inputs. So. But how do you switch from one mode to the other? So the first thing you need to know is that the engine must be running to change the rider mode. So you can't do this with just the key. The next thing you need to know is that the rider mode is controlled with the engine start button, not the mode button. So three seconds after you start your bike, the start button becomes your mode rider mode button. Don't ask me why. The next thing you need to know is that the throttle must be closed in order to uh, engage a mode. So you can't have any throttle in. If you're riding down the road and you've got a quarter turn of throttle in, it will not change mode. So you'll have to roll off the throttle completely. Uh, this is why I probably suggest doing this while you're parked or you know in your driveway before you head out or pull over and, and change them. It's probably safer that way, but to each his own. Um, so once you've rolled off the throttle, either moving or still, the manual says this, to change the riding mode, proceed as follows. If you press the button once, the symbol of the riding mode currently applied will flash. If you press the button again within 1.5 seconds from the first time, the next riding mode will be selected and flash. If more than 1.5 seconds elapses without pressing the button, which would uh, select the next riding mode otherwise, and the throttle grip is not used, the new riding mode uh, light will be on permanently. So in other words, the way that works is, is what I found is it's flick, flick. If you look at the video, you'll see my thumb going flick, flick, and the mode changes. Flick one time, that starts to flash, flick again, and it starts to go. It's 1.6 seconds, so it's pretty quick. So it's flick, flick. So it's almost, that, and that's, that's how I found it worked consistently. Before that, I was having a hard time getting it consistent, but just watch my thumb in the video, flick, flick, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Again, I hope these things helped you a little bit. Um, these are just my experiences of the manual. Read the manual yourself for the official information, but hopefully this will help you out. And if it did, leave me a comment and let me know it helped you or if you find something that I missed that I should have covered or something that you think is not correct, please let me know. Thanks.